Welcome back, everyone. Going into the second half here of Roleplay One Shots presents Raven Class Dan's first ever DM experience. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we open back up and <clears throat> off to the side of the road behind some bushes, you guys kind of spot a wrecked carriage. What do you guys do? Why are we stopping? Spit, turn me around, Cal. I just, I just turned to uh, Megram. And I kind of like, I surveyed the scene to see if there's anybody like, you know, around waiting, fresh, fresh footprints or anything like that. Yeah, I'm hella paranoid too. I'm, I'm also going to perceive my surroundings aggressively. Yeah, that would be also too why, like when Megram asks, uh, Kel doesn't immediately turn around, you know, because he's busy. Okay. Just studying uh, the area. Whoever like to roll a perception check, or if one person wants to do it at advantage, go ahead. Yeah, let's let's just do whoever has the highest roll it at advantage. Okay. Uh, uh, Bren, Bren gets a nineteen. Bren? Yeah. Okay. So I have, 19 a, I have a plus six. All right. So you don't see or hear anything around um, okay. that would indicate that there's anyone like lurking in the bushes and again. If there doesn't seem to be okay. a lot of foot traffic in this part, it's kind of far from the city there's hardly okay. any tracks at all i'm gonna look uh i wonder if anybody else has a higher investigation than me i have a two <laughs> Probably. Got better than um i, I got a four what's that jp has one what do you have T temple uh i have a four i have a plus four investigation because i'm real smart okay i just i turn a temple you think there's a there's been a skirmish here? I'm, I'm, yeah, and I think I, I think that's a that's a fairly trail. that's a fairly common thing, right? We come to a situation where we don't know what's going on, and yeah, it's kind of Temple's responsibility. Like, I get a lot of that. Like, what do you think happened here, Temple? Or like, yeah, take a look exactly. around, Mister Graves. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna and like. This this kind of attitude change comes over me, and I think probably I reach into my pouch and I take out a pipe, and I like tap it out on a log, and I like stamp it down, and I'm like, "Well, gentlemen, let's take a look." Now you see here, and I look at the thing, and I'm gonna I roll, can't see and then we'll see. We'll you see. have to explain it. <laughs> this damn horse. I'll bring you, you, give me a, you bring you want to give me a hand? A, I am not. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be looking around with you if if that gives you advantage. Yeah. Well, and this, and this is like this is kind of a shtick, right? Where like you and I do our little like Sherlock and and Watson dig. We're like, well, Rin, what do you think? Two, three riders upon this wagon? Like we're you know I'm, we're playing yeah. off each other. I think in that way, like yeah. The tracks of the wagon are deep in the ground, so ooh, a twenty, <laughs> very astute, very Bryn. nice. A good point. Yeah, so I got a twenty uh, as as Bryn and I walk around and like examine the scene okay um first uh what you notice and also um give me some perception checks from everybody so you just see what mm. you guys see when you're looking mm -hmm. at it as well mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. okay. um, me or do I, you want me to look in the opposite one? direction so. uh you can keep yeah, i don't already. i'm so focused okay. on like tracks and fingerprints mm -hmm. and scorch marks and stuff that if there's anything else going on a dragon could fly overhead and i wouldn't notice it all right, so what you all see is this carriage has been knocked over and it fell down this little hill. It looks like something, and you notice that there's like indentations that look like something large hit, rammed the side of it and pushed it over. There's like this indentation on the left side that a, mm -hmm. a large something rammed into it. Does it and look? Because it took it all over. Now, does it look like there are tracks uh, leading up to it? Like, if it was rammed by a bull or something, we would see hoof prints. Uh, are there mm -hmm. marks? Or does it look more like someone conjured force and used that to strike the side of the thing? You see footprints on the ground. Big, okay. webbed foot footprints that move a little, and then there's a big gap between their movement, and then you see them again, and then another big gap, and then you see them again. It, it doesn't make sense. Like something looks like it's like the either tracks erased in these sections or it never moved here. But you see these webbed footprints and also little. So you said 
You said this area, uh, just for the web footprints, you said that this area is like a flooded forest. So it would make sense. There might be some kind of aquatic like creatures around here. Yeah, there's there's uh, the area you're in is right next to a, a big marsh. that's very flooded just yeah, a little bit okay. to your north. So it, it would make sense that maybe something could have walked from there over um, some sort of creature because it's within like a few hundred yards of the of the, of big marshy swampy area. Could I make a, um, like an arcana nature or check. a nature check? Yeah, yeah right. Make a nature check. Do you, do you want to do nature? I'll do arcana and you can do nature. Sure. You want to do that? Okay. Yeah, if it's a magical creature, I'm more likely to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fine. If you're going to blow rolls, do it outside of a fight. This is okay. Yeah, true. Aiden nature's yeah. all right. I'm, we're okay. Uh, I got a 22 on my arcana check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you, uh, Bren, this doesn't seem like a natural creature like this isn't a frog like it or any sort of like bird or anything this is not like a you can tell that yeah. at a glance it's not but you can't really tell anything more specific <laughs> about that um but temple can see that it it doesn't it, it doesn't look like a natural creature but mm. you remember that there are certain spells and abilities that can conjure creatures that mm -hmm. may fit this. You're not exactly sure because mm, the footprint's not quite enough, but it okay. it could possibly be a, an, a a conjured creature that could have been here. It's Especially interesting because I imagine, yeah, I imagine that if you conjure a creature, it is somehow closer to the like because they're extra planar, so it's closer to like the platonic ideal of the creature. So its features would be more symmetrical, and that would be a way you could recognize that, right? Like, if yeah. you're like, look, the toes are exactly the same distance apart on each foot, and like the claws are all the same length because this is an artificial creature. This is a magically conjured entity. Well, interesting. You're yeah, okay. Well, I obviously this mentioned creature, that. this creature. It looks like if you had to guess that the creature has been either jumping or just one in one spot and then in another as if it can like mm, teleport mm -hmm, around okay. it's, it's obviously has some sort of ability like that i look at the footprints and i i just kind of get it like down on one knee and look at it and i look up at, at temple and i i've never hunted anything like this it's new to me and you also you guys also notice lots of little boot prints around too how little? Very like, goblin like little, maybe, or like some maybe like dwarf footprint little, dwarf halfling, like a small mm. but very it, like sturdy prints, like real heavy prints, but they're small, which mm. doesn't make sense. Boot mm -hmm. or foot? Mm -hmm. It looks like a boot. Okay. And are any of the any of the other mercenaries like known to have uh like a cadre of dwarves or like a gnomish sorcery core or something? Like, is there would that um, make me think of any of the other any of our competitors? The void cloaks are known to be used dark, sinister creatures to help in their investigations. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But you remember that the. Baron said that he wasn't able to hire them for this mission. So yes, the Void Cloaks, them. my first choice for Mercenary Company, uh, but they wouldn't yes. have me, and so here I am with my new <laughs> friends. Um, yeah, all right, okay, yeah. Well, I'll mention all that stuff to Brynn. I'll be like, it could be, it could be the Void Cloaks because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that there's some kind of conjuring that's gone on here. Uh, I don't have the equipment to detect magical effluvia, but well. Well, here's, here's, the, here's what I was thinking. I think thinking. the action's over with, so. What I was thinking was, since this mercenary group, the Void Cloaks, were not available to be hired, they were the ones who perpetrated it for another person. Or for themselves. Hmm. Well, we, we should take a look at this wagon, just in case there's some kind of evidence or something further to understand, but... If 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 they're the ones and it is the void cloaks, then then they're long gone with this box we're looking for, and we we're any? up against a bigger foe than we thought. A, a single orcish warlord or or ghoul coven, maybe, but the the whole <laughs> of the void cloaks, we, we couldn't even beat them with the help of, well, the sisters of slaughter, and they're not going to help us. So, uh, this did is you worrying. see any tracks leading away? Nope, not. <laughs> Got some trees, <laughs> bushes, no trash. <laughs> as, as you guys are 
rummaging the, the the wagon, you do notice little bits of like things that weren't taken, and mm, you do notice mm-hmm. that there is a piece of a splintered piece of wood, and on that piece of wood is the symbol you're looking for. You do notice what? it etched God into damn. the wood. Uh, I noticed and, that, or they noticed that. Uh, you guys collectively, like as you're looking through the stuff, you do notice a piece of wood, and it does have the symbol on it. And you notice that the it's tracks not connected to a box. <laughs> it, yeah. He was. It's more like a crate, and he was describing okay. this as like an ornate box. So gotcha. I, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's most likely not what you're looking for. <laughs> well, he actually but even just, made like like he did the dimensions of it. So yeah, and he yeah. mentioned that it was magically enchanted, so it would be really hard to right. break. All right, but you do notice that the tracks seem to be coming from the north, and they also retreat from to back to the north. Well, Mm. it seems like since this symbol is here and the box we're actually paid to find has the same symbol on it, it's it only stands to reason that wait the symbols the entire the entire alchemist's uh, home was robbed. Yes, back room. The symbols there. What's it? What's it on? Piece of wood. I grab the wood and I, I grab the piece of wood and I show, throw it show, to, to Magrum. Go Magrum so we can turn. Yeah, around. you have like one arm reaching across, grabbing a thing. I grab it, I like sit there and start it, bite at it. Just is it wood? <laughs> <laughs> is it wood? <laughs> That's how you know it's real wood and not. Yeah. I don't know it's, plastic. It's like, you bite it and just like piece of, you piece of muddy wood. wood. No, you, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell what type of wood it is. This is uh, what type of wood is it? This is a birch, birch wood makes the best boxes. Everyone knows that. I am give going to Agar, roll give me a nature check to see if you can uh, <laughs> tell what type of wood it is. I roll seven. Around here I, I'm still 100 percent certain it's birch wood. I'm not gonna. Yes. Right now, it tastes like what you would expect birch wood to taste like. It just yeah, that's what you're <laughs> uh, the banking on. Birch. It's great birch. We both have no fucking idea. <laughs> well, I looked at Kel and I go. He's actually not wrong. See, everyone knows that. You probably hate it too, <laughs> you wood elf. You, you like the woods. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's birch or not, but you can taste wood to tell the difference sometimes. It's birch. Of course it is. Very well. I tasted it. Well, well, I'm glad. The tracks lead that way. I suggest we follow them. Yes, yes. Let's um, proceed, I think. All right. Uh, Kel, we need to tie this around your butt. This is important. People see this symbol, they'll know we're important. Or we could put it in a pack and not use me like a common horse. Aren't you? <laughs> I, I, uh... I look. I look at Kel. <laughs> like, Kel, I give you. I give you a look that means that like communicates. Has Magrum just never seen a horse before? Like, does he just think you're a horse? Like, I'm very confused right now. I, I so I give you this look. Like, wait a second. Uh, so no, I can't hold on. You, I can't read the room at all because I can't see you. So I just said, "Are exactly, you?" Yeah. I have a smile on my face and it's looking for the joke. The rest of you guys do yeah, not. Yeah, we all look at each other. Like, what is what is his problem? <laughs> Magrum, I wouldn't um, antagonize the one that is giving you a ride. Right. Yeah. Okay. Not smart. No, I got you. I I understand. I. Yeah. I wish. No harm, no foul. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll put it in the bag. I'll, I'll figure it out. We got some bags here. On Does this pouch on the right work. Yeah, that's fine. You can put it in there. Great. Yeah, I put it in there and give it a pat. Sorry about that, buddy. Maybe like scratch your back. You give, you give me. <laughs> you want some oats? Yeah, a handful like, of oats. I, I, I got a carrot for back, you. Like the the small of your back in front of me. Sorry about that. You, I am not a popped up with a plus and a heart symbol. You have bonded with your Boop. <laughs> <laughs> like perfect. Great. Perfect. All right. All right. Uh, you guys follow the trail that Bryn and yeah. Temple have found, and it leads to the entrance of a cave. You notice that the tracks seem, a lot of these tracks seem to go to and from this cave. Okay. It's quick, like on the edge thing. of a hill. It's got wa- vines around the outside of it. It's dark when you look inside, but it's definitely the entrance of a, of a start of a cave. A quick thing as far as uh, a ranger ability goes, uh, natural explorer, I chose forest. Um, mm-hmm. 
Uh, while tracking other creatures, you also learn their exact number, their sizes, and how long ago they passed through the area. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, you would guess there's at least two of these webbed creature things. Um, okay. And the, the smaller footprints, probably single digit number maybe four to six you're not really sure because they they, they yep. tend to like they're very erratic sure. um and they stumble together but you guess about that and th the the web creature definitely seems to be big and presses down on the earth and you can tell it's probably of large size and then the the hook the little footprints are definitely smaller creatures okay and would you say pass, like would you say like their, pass, their attack radius would be like roughly 10 feet by 10 feet or <laughs> i'm gonna dan you up <laughs> yeah you you're not really sure based on just the footprint but you can definitely okay you, they're definitely coming from here and there's definitely lots of tracks that come in in waves so like there's older tracks and newer tracks they definitely, they definitely keep coming and going from this cave okay yeah uh does it look like they're pulling or dragging anything uh no, there's no sign yeah. that anything is being dragged. <laughs> okay, but you do notice that when they go back, their footprints seem deeper, so maybe they're holding something. Okay, yeah, so they're so they're I, going I turned... out and and raiding the road and then coming back with stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I turn to the rest of the crew and I just go, "Looks to be four to six of the little ones, those little footprints there. Two of the big, webbed, whatever they are." And whatever they're carrying, they're carrying it by hand or mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, I do a quick inventory of my stuff, and I'm like, um, well, if there's going to be a bunch of little ones, I've, I've got one more screamer left, and I hold up one of those little, like, exploding burrowy guys that I have, uh, and a handful of other things. Um, but going into a cave, it's probably full of monsters, and... They're probably going to be ready for us if they're in there. Can you, Bryn, can you tell? Are, are, when was that? Did they come and, and then come back? Did they go? Did they... Oh, yeah. That, that was the other thing um, that we didn't get. Uh, they definitely seem like. How long like ago they passed the, the last area. track? Yeah, are they the home? Track, the freshest tracks are leading in, not out. Of course. Yeah. And how long ago? You'd say probably within the, in the past day they've been in here. Okay, so not like not like an hour fresh, but like a day fresh. Yeah, like at least a day has passed since they went inside. Okay. okay. Well, they haven't been out in the last since the last uh, uh, sun cycle, so they've been here for a while. <clears throat> we could try and all get the drop on them if you'd like. I have something that uh, a spell we could all benefit from. Oh, really? That'd be helpful. Well, they're going to leave soon. They've been in there a day. Probably bored. Maybe it's very nice in there. You don't know, Magrum. I live in caves. That's a shit cave right there. I can just tell. You live in caves? <laughs> well, well, Magrum and Keller in Temple. I used to. I know they're <laughs> your mortal enemy. What do you mean, in? Going in the cave. Sooner rather than later. Oh. What else are we gonna do? Stand around here with our dicks in our hands? Yeah, let, 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 let's go. Hand. Well, you're always the cautious, apprehensive one. I just wanted to make sure you were with us. I mean, didn't, I didn't say I like the idea, but what else are we gonna do? We're on the job. Okay. I uh, stab. I I uh, grab. Actually, I grab some leaves and dirt from the ground, and I uh, rub them in my hand. And then I throw them up in the air and they become like, like they catch the light and then they turn over like a coin and they're just nothing but shadow and they fall over our group here. Um, Ooh, and like past that trace, uh, veil of shadow and silence. We've seen this from a character before that I, God, I just can't remember his name. <laughs> yeah. I think it's JP's Ranger. 
<laughs> yeah. What? That's right. No, I, I never he ever played I one. I never played a ranger, yeah. <laughs> or, <no. laughs> it was the but guy it was everybody mask. within go ahead. You play some characters oh, guy, that have yeah. a map. I remember the map. Do I? Uh, anyway, it uh, gives everybody a plus 10 bonus within 30 feet of me. Uh, to Hell yeah. Nice. Does it give us advantage there. or anything? Oh. Or just plus no. 10? Okay. So you guys are all going to go, um, go stealthily into the cave? Is that the plan? <coughs> I Yes. I think so. We yeah. leave, we leave yeah. no tracks and we cannot be tracked. I, from here so to and, uh, Everyone give me a stealth check. Oh, we're going and in. We'll add 10. Yeah. We'll, we'll add 10 to whatever it is. So 16, cool. we did, 16, we did great, Max. Man, we are cool. Thank God. And Bran is the shadow. Well, Bryn, we're going to get yeah. in there and they're going to be like, these Bren. three guys are breaking into our that house. asshole <laughs> Bryn didn't come in. He's not with so, guys. I mean, it, it, feels, it feels like we really blew it in terms of like roles, but keep in mind that, that 16 is actually not bad given that most oh, people's man, passive yeah. perception. Like, I couldn't passively see us. Except for, I guess I'd see uh, Magrum. So I think we're, we got plus 10. We're, we're okay. There's no reason for us to feel like we're definitely just going to get like jumped on as soon as we go in there. But Bryn, you're yep. going to stay stealth way better than we will. Well, and, I, and I'll definitely take the lead on this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are we all heading in? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Yeah, right. definitely. I look so, up, by the way, immediately in the cave. You what? I figured. I look up. Um, yeah. Let me <laughs> all into the map um mm -hmm. let's see can you all see <laughs> yes without yeah. trace like i just yeah, successfully hit it for my dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. exactly if your parents don't notice you pabst without trace works great <laughs> you do uh, yes, notice yeah, that good. you do notice that um as it, you get farther from the entrance it starts to get darker. So, does someone want to cast a light cantrip on someone? And if so, who is going to have the light cantrip? I think uh, Magrum. Do you have the? Do you have light? Yep. Yeah, I can cast it on someone. Okay. Cool. Uh, should we put uh, it on Kel? <clears throat> Probably makes the most. Kel, sense. you have a two-handed a mole, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your weapon. I mean, you can cast on like a necklace or something you're wearing. But yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'll cast on like yeah. that close. Mm. Cool. Okay, I think that you are now emitting light, uh, Kelsivar. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you enter the cave, and the first thing you that you notice is this: you hear the sound of water, just like like a like a small river kind of flowing. You hear mm. the sound of water moving. You can see it in the distance there there's like a little cave river in here or something it's not moving super fast but just like a light trickle of water moving and uh moving away from the cave entrance and no. the second thing you notice is just the smell of death like just rotting mm. flesh rotting fungus just things like just the smell of dead bodies has hit you immediately that this Yikes. place has had a lot of blood and death and it's reeking from the inside of the cave and other than that um you only see what you see and you don't hear anything other than the flow of water that's kind of muffling a lot of those quieter noises in the cave Ugh. in here a day you say Ugh. This is possibly where they eat and excrete. No, let us be discreet. All right. I'll move up to here. Okay. Yeah, I'll move. Um, you see on your right, you see a flowing uh, like little cave river. Looks maybe 20 feet yeah, across. Right. It's not moving super fast. You you can't really tell how deep it is unless you put your foot in there. Um, you also notice there's like a little passage that goes up above you to the left. Um, you can't really see around right now, but uh, that's what you see. And you see like a bunch of mushrooms growing in the corners. And you definitely see drops on the ground of blood every now and then, just like a spare drop. And you definitely see tracks. A lot of uh, foot, uh, foot boot prints seem to go up 
to that little cave on the, the little uh, passage that above you. And then the webbed um, prints seem to go towards the water. Mm. Uh, well, where would we like to go first? <clears throat> The easier route, obviously, being over here to the left. Don't I'm going to stay out of. If we can stay out of the water, that's going to be better for everybody, I think. Yeah. Uh, the left end. Yeah, okay, I'm going to move. Move your yeah. characters yeah. wherever you want, and I'll tell you what you see when you get there. I'll move up there. Oh. All right. Um, you guys see like there's looks like a rock that's blocking this passage it looks you see on the ground that it looks like this has been moved back and forth a lot so maybe maybe like it's primitive door or like it's moved a lot but definitely it hasn't been here a long time i see what's going on so on the other side of this rock is our lord and savior jesus christ hail him uh let's just bust this rock open (laughs) no 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 he he is risen he is risen. Oh, God damn it, we missed him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a listen, like, perception here, check to see if I hear mm. uh, any footprints, any talking, anything. Okay, go ahead and do a perception check. Big 12. Yeah. All you hear is the water behind you. Um, there's, If there's anything ahead of you, it's not making noise, so you can't hear anything. Right now, okay, and there doesn't appear to be any apparatus for moving this boulder. Like, I'm, I'm assuming, and I guess I'll say this in character, I'm like, I have to assume that they use this boulder to block the place, but usually the, you do that when you're not home. And so if we think that they're here, but the boulder's in place, then maybe they close it from the other side when they are home. Like when you shut your door and lock the door when you are home and you don't want people to break in and steal stuff, but then they'd have to be very strong or there have to be a lot of them because I don't see any kind of mechanism that moves this thing. So uh, I don't like the feeling of this. Bryn, what do you think? I agree, but. They would close the door behind them if they left the place. There must be a way to open it. Um, is there a sort of... Uh, can you see if there's any magical means to move the door? <laughs> yeah, I the look at the door. I look at the door and I, I look at you and I'm like, well, as I said before, I don't have the requisite equipment that I would need to be able to tell you if there's any kind of ambient enchantment on this place. And honestly, I have to tell you, it seems to me like enchantment might be a little above the ability grade of whatever creatures are down here. Uh, does it look like there is like, you know, when you, you know, when you look at a, a, a door, sometimes the ground has like an arc of where it drags. Is there any yeah. evidence that there's like mm-hmm. a mechanism here that moves this thing? Or is it just something really strong that just rolls it out of the way? Uh, make a perception check. would love to. I'd love to do that very thing. Um, let's see. I got, I got a six, big six. six. I have no idea. <laughs> well, you don't notice anything, but it's pretty clear. There's a lot of that. Anyone can tell there's a lot of marks on the ground. Like it looks like this thing Bagger. might be pushed or pulled. And it doesn't seem like there's any fancy mechanism. It just you- roughly dragged it on the floor. You spend a lot of time on the ground, is that right? In mountains and such? Why would you assume that? <laughs> well, there's there's two kinds of dwarfs that are I'm coming. just messing, yeah, of course I have. <laughs> Very well. Um, <laughs> would you mind taking a look at this? Have you ever seen a door like this? If so... I've seen rock doors, How would we yes. open it? Uh, how would we open it? Well, I don't... Look, I'm going to be... I, I don't know. I can tell you about this rock's mom. Maybe it's dad. Maybe it's origins. I don't know how to open it, though. Typically, there was a door you push or pull where I come from. But I don't see a doorknob on it, so I can try to study a little bit more, but I need some time. What sort of dad did this rock have? Uh, I'm going to use stone cunning. (laughs) 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 And I'll tell you the history related to the origin of this stonework. (laughs) <laughs> yeah uh, okay awesome. give me a history check let's see 
So 15, that adds right. double proficiency. So I think it's an it's... 18. All right. Uh, this rock um, looks like it was born from about 10 feet away, and they someone just moved it over here. Because it looks like the rest of the rocks. It, that's all you can really tell. There's not much okay. special about it. You see me, uh, rock. you see Magrum walk up, sniffs the rock, and then like, <laughs> it's talking, like gently on the rock. <laughs> well, it was born right over there. That was moved here. <laughs> That's the I don't doesn't say it's dad. I don't know. Might have left. Not sure. Um I'm just going to try and just like gently like push on just in case like that's all it needed. Okay. Yeah, Give let's me get this a, rock out of here. Get an athletics <laughs> check. I'd love to. Seventeen. All right. You push it out of the way. It's not really as heavy as it looked. What? So, yeah, it wasn't as heavy as it looked. Um, and you push it out of the way, and you see oh. in front of you a passage. It looks kind of like it's flooded with water, and then you see pillars that are like in the oh, middle of the shit. room. There's like a good like maybe like four inches of water that's like splashing as you um. There's like a whole ass you, dungeon uh, down up. here. Yeah, and then once you um, move that out of the way, you kind of made a lot of noise. So you start hearing goomch, goomch, of ah. metal boots, metal boots I, hitting the ground. I would like splashing. to. I would like to use one of my first level spell slots to conjure uh, another gun because uh, I. It's been an hour. It's been longer than an hour since the last time I had one. So I'm gonna. I gotta use a. I gotta use a slot. So yeah, I definitely. Conjure a pistol. Okay. Um, I'm ready. And then for action, which is to say, get in front of me, everybody. You see a small creature with a red cloak on, hunched over with metal boots, come around the corner uh, with a big scraggly beard. And oh, I hate these. He has friends come out the other door and they're investigating the noise it has heard. So everyone grandpa? needs to roll initiative. Yeah, I was about Dad. Oh, what are you doing in here? Is that my grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I hate them so much. <laughs> grandpa John. All right. Yeah, let's just not get horribly killed by weird gnomes. Nice. <clears throat> A big old one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't do much better. I got a seven. Poof. Okay. Let's see. Red caps got a thirteen. Okie dokies. Um whoops, wrong person turn. Okay, uh looks like our centaur friend gets to go first. Actually, you gotta swap. Oh, oh sorry. Ren gets to go first. My there bad. You go. Yep. I can't do numbers. <laughs> it's okay, me neither. Um Do these do these guys have any like besides they have red capes on them, you said, right? hmm Do they have any markings or anything like that? That would indicate they, like any factions or any allegiances? You don't see like any markings, and they don't really look at a first glance like they're human. Like they look feral, like they're snarling and they're growling at you a little bit, and hissing. They're not. It doesn't seem like they're organized at all. If they are, okay. Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified um, of these things. I uh, take out like I. Yeah, I take my arrow out, um, and I uh, am going to – yeah, I'm going to Hunter's Mark. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to Hunter's Mark the one on the left. Left? Here? In the doorway there? Yep. Okay. Um, can, is, can I um, – I'll put a little I know I can't like, be blocked him. from like, – I know I can't be blocked yeah. from both of them. 
But if I go mm -hmm. here, I might have like a again a peek around the side and hit that one first. And then I, I know I won't be blocked from the other one, but maybe I can get some cover from that one. That's all I'm thinking. So I'll take a shot. Um, okay. 14. Uh, let's see. 14 is enough to hit. So go ahead and roll damage. Swell. So I'll roll Six. that. And that, so 12 total. Okay. You hit it and it hisses. It doesn't like being hit by your little arrows, so it's upset about <laughs> Me that. Me neither. Yeah. Okay. As, as soon as he hits it, I'm going to aim right for, like, his open mouth and try and, like, <laughs> nail an arrow right inside of his fucking gullet. 19. Yes. Got him. Yeah, buddy. Hit him again. Okay. There's eight. eight. Awesome. Uh, three more, so 11. And then um, Colossus Slayer. Oh, yeah. Do it. Oh, oops. Space in there. There we go. And another eight. Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. Beautiful. That's some good damage. You definitely, like, lay arrows into this thing, and it definitely looks like you hurt it bad. It's profusely bleeding, but it is still alive. Yeah, it's hissing, and you've pissed it off, and it's looking right at you now. It's hissing mm -hmm. and pissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just... That's I just, what I do. Anything else? I just look at it and I, I just I just look at it and go, This one's mine. And I just like not like nod over to the other one. To everybody else in the party. <laughs> Unless you can okay. kill this one before it gets to take a turn, I feel oh, like hey, we hey. should probably finish it off. <laughs> Up to you. You don't have to listen. All good. It only counts right. for one. <laughs> no one no one respects the one v one. <laughs> Max, it is your turn. That's because it's not 1v1. We don't want you to die. I will charge the one that he just hit, which was what? The one on the okay. left? Or did he hit the one that was uh, the one, uh The one that's slightly into the room, not the one on the doorway. I'm sorry, Max, I didn't hear what you said. You're a little horse. Can you repeat that? Oh. <laughs> Man. Can, if I can ask you one equestrian, can, could I do that? Oh, Listen, uh, oh boy! If yeah, Charlie Sheen were here, he would just turn. say, okay. "He would just say, <laughs> you both are Winnie, just Winnie." <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, an army of red caps start pouring out of every <sighs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All you can see is nothing but red. Uh, all right, I'm going okay. to go ahead and charge and do your damage. This is the one. This is the one that that he hit. Yep, the that's the one that's it, slightly injured. Are you going to use your main attack or something else? Fuck <laughs> 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 off! As soon as you get in range of, yep. as as you get in range of him, you notice that he has Oof. a friend behind him in the doorway. Ah, yeah, uh, good. Good stuff. Sure thing, sure thing. Uh, all right, charge. So we're going to first small attack. Bang. <laughs> you you get him. Go ahead, roll damage. Yes. Wow. Oh, oh, that's Smash good face. damage. Oh, he hisses in pain. That really hurt him. And second mall attack. Hit. Woo -hoo. Oh, nice. Eh? oh, nice. 15. Oh, you kill him. He's down. Poof. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Red cap. Wow. This is in Big pain. Move. And then as it dies, it starts to wither and like implode on itself and turn into a shriveled mushroom looking thing on the ground as it dies. Gross. Yeah. I eat the mushroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. It gives me do that. strength. You don't want to get hot. So you have no idea how many people peed on that spot to make that ah, mushroom, dude. You don't want to put that in your mouth. Um, <laughs> so I still have the hoof attack, but would that work? How does that work? Can I um, not use it because it's not a part of the you charge? You have to charge for it to work, so it would. Yeah, I don't think. It, I think it's just kind of yeah. like whatever. So. But you do have a little bit of it's movement left if you want to reposition I'm yourself right. anywhere. Um, I suppose I can move. I still have movement, and I'm not in threatening zone. You know what? I'm gonna stay here, knowing that the other one's gonna come through. I guess. Okay. There's no point in me shrinking back. I guess. Their movement is gonna be enough in this confined space, so I will uh, stay where I'm at. Okay. Um. Now they get to go. Uh, the one that is behind. Um. The behind the one you just killed. Let me see. 
It is going to rush at you and l- kick you with its boot. <laughs> um, no, kicky boots. It, no. Kick so go ahead and make a DC 14 dexterity <laughs> saving throw <laughs> for me. Oh, so much damage. There's so much fucking damage. I just read that. <laughs> just boots you into space. Holy shit. <laughs> DC 14. Yes. Dexterity. That's a big fat failure. Oh, you failed. Ooh, so, boy, you take, uh, you take twenty damage, and Look you are knocked prone. Good. Oh God. man, he knocked the fucking centaur prone. That's a fucking boot and a half. Is yeah, like a kicker yeah, for the Shit. fucking Green Bay Packers? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the other hey, one. With me. Ah, I see. We're being yeah. We're being attacked by the 1977 <laughs> starting line of the Dallas Rockets. Yeah. Oh, Come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The other one's gonna move up to Bryn and start slicing at her with its sickle. It makes three attacks. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Two of them hit. Okay, and. So you're going to take nine plus eleven damage, so twenty damage. Okay. And God that damn, is dude. The end of its turn. And now it is Temple's turn. Uh okay. Uh I'm gonna use I'll use my bonus action to attempt to laser this nearest red cap. So I'll shoot at that thing with my force ballista. Mushroom him. So I I pop a quick shot. I get a 22. Thank God. Nail him. Uh, an ideal 12 force damage. Awesome. He, you blast part of his uh, chest open, but it's it's still up. What? Just mother... Okay. Uh, well, um, I will cast a spell. Um, I'm going to cast... I think he's got to be close to dead. I'm going to cast Firebolt. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the one, the both of them were at full health um, when you started attacking. Just in case you got lost in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no, I missed um, really I bad. Don't think <laughs> wow. either of those critical fails. Uh, <laughs> they probably don't. You are you are almost certainly correct. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I'm gonna. I'll use. I'll use one more point uh, of luck just because I have it, and I might as well use it. it. So let me try that Good. again. Point two. There you go. Better. Yeah. Get him. Okay. And I get a eight. I deal eight fire damage. Okay. He hisses that you hit him with fire damage, and he still is up and going. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm going to move. I'm going to just go, go back hey, over <laughs> here. <laughs> Just going to back away shooting. And yeah, somebody in chat asked, I have, um, so actually, yeah, the firebolt, I I did this wrong in the last fight. Somebody asked the firebolt actually should deal another D eight because I have arcane firearm. So it does another, another two. So it's actually 10 damage. And yeah, I have my pistol in one hand and I have a wand in the other and the pistol is shooting the force beams. And then the wand I'm, throwing firebolts and I'm just like backing up and if this were a John Woo movie I would just dive backwards and there'd be doves <laughs> yeah. but it's not so I just stumble back in the dark uh, and then yeah that's the end of my turn okay now it is uh, JP Magrum I'll uh, cast spiritual weapon in the room uh, it misses okay. wherever it spawns but I think uh, but I'll spawn it next to uh, this one here in the front okay I'll get you a little icon um, what what does your spiritual weapon look like? What kind of weapon? Uh, it's probably just like a pretty crude looking anvil. Uh, it's like the the symbol of the clan that okay. I'm a part of, but it's just like the crudest, silliest, plainest, rustiest mm-hmm. looking. Okay. Just gonna <laughs> uh, have a little anvil right there, and just yeah, that's gonna be your spiritual weapon. Great. Um. And then that's bonus action, and as my actual action, I will uh, toll the dead on uh, this creature, uh, the red cap right in front of Bren. Uh, yeah. So I think it's DC 14. Yeah, uh, DC 14. Say? Yeah, wisdom. Okay. And if it fails, it takes 2d12. Oh, he oh, crit. Okay, all right. 
Hmm. Uh, I don't know, Dan, I don't know if it actually, if it makes any difference, but the force ballista, mm-hmm. when it hits, it pushes five feet back. It's not going to trigger an attack of opportunity, but uh, he should be okay. there. Yeah, I, I just forgot about him back. that. Okay, cool. Um, um, oh, man, that totally that's actually good for me. Yeah, yeah. it's good. That, that, that then lets you, can, him... you can run off without an attack of yeah. opportunity. Yeah. That's why that I mentioned good. it. actually very good. It did matter. All right, so next is Brent again. Uh, yeah, since, since now that I have some distance in between us, like now it's only within like melee range that I get penalties for, for the bow, right? If it's five feet, yeah, I can he's still far, just fire he's it. far yep. enough away now that you don't get your disadvantage. Okay, cool. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Totally yeah, that's a nice combo. Jump. Yep. Okay. You so guys then I'm gonna, better. I'm going, I like, I, I just, uh, <laughs> nice shot, Temple. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot, throw, everyone gets inspiration because you guys have been doing great, so everyone has inspiration oh, that they you. can spend. Oh, um, that, 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 will, that will be useful for when yeah. I... Did you say, <laughs> yeah, 14 was enough, so 15 should be enough, yeah? Uh, Yeah, 14 is 15's enough. Okay, cool. So that's one shot, longbow, seven, seven okay. and Hunter Smart. Him. So nine total. Cool. And yep, He's bloodied, but he's still up. There we go. And then Colossus, I fucked it up. <laughs> one every, more. Every damage counts because the next one is, mm-hmm. is it looks like he's on his last leg. So if you can get okay. a good hit here. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So then I just fire another oh. shot. Oh, oh nice. Man. That's a and there's the crit. That's the I one. Saw it. Oh, yeah. Like, I saw the thing. The hunter's mark is glowing on his fucking neck. And yep. I'm just like... Okay, time for the real one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> give him the big yeah, one get... and 14 damage. 14, and then give me double Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, to roll twice or just double that? Yep. You get to uh, just yeah, you roll twice. do it again. Get to roll okay. twice. Yeah. And so 19 to total. Do... And then you get to do double your Slayer thing as well. Oh, that doubles too, huh? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's everything that hits in one roll, hit. Yeah. Okay, Dang. 14, right, so... 19, plus 8 is 27. <laughs> All right, you hit it straight in the middle of its neck, and the force is so f- impactful that it, his head flies off. You slice it right through the neck, and his Morning blood neck. just splatters all over the wall mm-hmm. behind him, and Uh-oh. he is so super dead like Pop if he had nets. saving throws it's nope it's over yeah see He's this is why bryn gone. this is why i told you before you came out here regular arrows no no taping a rapier to the end of a stick <laughs> that's right. the way to do it that's true <laughs> way to do it yeah. i feel like green <laughs> arrow with like next one i has got, got a punching glove on it like a boxing glove <laughs> 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 all right then i move uh i move over here and okay. uh I put the, the I bonus action hunter's mark on this guy now. Awesome. Okay. Is there anything else? Nope. That's it for me. All right, Max. It is your turn. I, I assume you first want to light. stand up. Yep. yep. This one with okay. Uh, oh, yeah, first stand up, right? Yeah. And then uh, hit it with the maul. Go for it. Oh, he hit oh him. and remind okay. me, since I have two attack yep. plus slayers, only once per turn. That's right. I don't yeah, know once per turn. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he still would have been extra dead. eight counted, but okay, cool. So do I get? He would if he was attack, super dead. Do right. I get two attacks, three, or because it counts as? You, I still get two. I'm just, uh, you get, you you get two regular attacks with your maul uh, as a fighter. Okay, okay. So I'm just making sure. Yeah. Hey, damn! Oh, that is good. Go ahead, hit him. Another seventeen. Oh, uh, he's he's still up, but he is badly hurt by that other hit. You messed him up. Nice. Um, I angrily nay. <laughs> yeah, what does that sound like? What's an angrily nay sound like? <laughs> We're in a cave, specifically? <laughs> there you go. It cuts away <laughs> magically. No echo. Mm. Okay. It echoes um, and then it cuts away. <laughs> anything else in your turn? Any bonus actions or anything? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I'll bet you two bucks you can't do again. that again. <laughs> now we're just stretching it. It's just <laughs> all right. So he's going to. Deer. You're bleeding Fuck. profusely, and he oh, he's me. smelling your blood, and he's just like, oh, like infuriating. He, he wants God, more of creep. it. So he 
he just starts. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. You got <gasps> crit again. Oh, okay. <laughs> he hits you for fifteen damage. Then he misses. And then he hits you for how many hit points you got left there, horse bud? Took me a second to realize this was happening to me. And now I'm sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait a uh, second. Someone's dead? Who who is it? Uh, it's no. you, Max. <laughs> no! <laughs> Someone got oh. 23 damage total. 23 damage total. Okay. Yeah, 23 damage. So I am up by one. Up is still up. You're you're still alive. Still That's right. All that counts in D D is zero. So you're still good. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and then that is going to be the end of his turn. As he, but he's just like craw- he's clawing at you because he he wants to eat your blood. He's addicted to it. I he's do have wants it bad. And he's like, it's covering your weapon. He's licking it off his sickle. He's like, this is what happens, Kel. You have you have heroin for blood, and that's true. We warned you about that. So, um, oh, I know why he likes it so much. He's French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want he's just trying to make horse sashimi do you want me to i can heal i've got some minor healing abilities do you want me to heal uh our our semi horse friend or do you want me to try to put some damage in i'd say kill it try to kill it at least uh, i can yeah, kill, i can get I got into the room enough that i can get a shot so yeah. okay all right it seems pretty yeah it seems pretty again so i we we probably have that exchange where i'm like I shout to you. I'm like, Magrum, what do I do? And you're like, get in here. And yeah. I, I nod Shoot the little slap fucker. my hat on him. <laughs> yeah. And then I come, I come jogging into the room. And as soon as I come around the, the corner uh, and I see the, the thing, I'm going to force Ballista to start. So let's see how that does. Uh, I got a 25. Nice. Yeah, I nailed it. Ideal. Ah, but I only deal five force damage. Hey, well, damn it. Um, he's, Looking super hurt, but he's still up. He's hurt, but he's still up. Okay, all right, let's firebolt yeah. this guy. The force ballista, pushes and I get him back. <sighs> good. I got a seventeen. You hit oh, yeah, him. that pushes him back. The force ballista hits him, so he gets shoved. But you, oh. there's no attack of opportunity there. Oh. That'd be nice um, if it didn't do that. Incur that. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's forced. Forced movement um, doesn't doesn't cause yeah. that. That firebolt hit. Uh, yes, it hits. So give me damage. Okay. All right, this time it's twelve plus. What does it look another like DA. when? Oh, do we get him? What yeah. Looks, what it looks like when you kill him with your firebolt? It's like uh, it's like in in Buffy the Vampire Slayer when they kill a vampire and he like turns into like ash, like burning <laughs> dust. That's what happens. So I I shoot. He staggers back and it opens up uh, the central mass as a target. And then I I fling a, a firebolt from the end of my wand and it curves over Kel's shoulder, down, hits the thing in the chest, and then it just just like nineties era fire. CGI oh, yeah. blows away. Uh, yeah. I, I envision like Terminator 2, like the just turning into ash <laughs> yeah. scene. Uh, yeah. 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 I totally. I like it. Just blast them. All oh. right. Uh, it looks like there's, you don't hear anything else. So it mm-hmm. sounds like you're safe for the moment. Cool. What do you guys do? Um, well, since Ow. my gun is only going to last an hour, and that was only one thing, it'll, it'd be good if we, if we have if we're going to get another fight, let's get in it quick. But I holster, I holster my wand. Uh, on the other hand, I look around, and uh, I probably come over to to Kel, and I'm like, Kel, you 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 look you look rough. Um, Magrim, do you want to? I gesture. What? What do you want me? To, you want me to help him? I, no, everyone knows that's pointless. Wait till someone dies, then you bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I nod and I'm like, right, right. Of course. We don't waste no healing spells, Temple Graves. I don't know about you folks. <laughs> I put my hands up. I'm like, all right, all right. I'll I'll stick to throwing fire, and I'll leave oh. the healing to you. Uh, Bryn, do you, do you see any more up there? Bryn, what do your elf eyes see? Yeah, well, I do have dark vision. Um, Exa- well, exactly. So, yeah, uh, I, we we don't. <laughs> I'm going it's to go this. over here and ex- and look this direction. Okay. Um. You don't see anything off the from where you're standing. You'd have to like step into the room to see a bit more, but you don't see anything from where you are. Okay. Then I step in there. All right. Um. Looks you like see there's something camp- down there. See a campfire and what looks like a bunch of bones and blood on the ground. I listen, is there any like does do I hear any other footprint like boots coming this way? Yeah, give me a, a perception check. 
All right. 14. Uh, you don't hear anything. It's just all you hear is the crackle of the small fire. Okay. I keep, I move uh, down here. Boop. Okay. Uh, you start to see a bunch of half chewed on limbs, bones, like blood everywhere. There's guts all over the ground. It's, it, there's b- big teeth marks in these pieces of flesh all over the ground. I, it's one I of those sentences that could have, it could have gone anywhere, right? You're like, you see a bunch of chewed on, and I'm like, okay, okay, limbs, good, great. That's mm-hmm, <laughs> that's what we wanted. <laughs> have, any, have any of you ever seen anything like this? Dead bodies, bones, yeah. Several no, limbs, yeah, a bunch these, of times. These, these creatures that we fought, that we killed just now. Yeah, I got an uncle who looks mm. like one of them. <laughs> Are they dwarves? So, based on... No. Based on what I know, Dan, um, based on what I know from like watching them, like seeing the like, I'm I'm guessing based the hats, the boots, the sickles and the fact they turned into mushrooms when they died. Can I like piece together what their what their deal is? Yeah, I think with your Arcana check earlier that like you've been like investigating the whole time that you figured out these are red caps and they do eat flesh. And usually usually they're solitary creatures. Unless they're conjured by something that controls them, usually they right. like to be okay. by themselves. That makes sense. So, could I? Were the the mark on the side of the caravan was that like a boot print? Then, like, did they did they run over and kick the thing over with their scary little gnome boots? Uh, I, Terrifying. You you would guess that that is not what pushed it over. There's something else. Okay, all right, good. So there's more. There's more to it. Okay, mm-hmm. great. I absorb that information nervously. Uh, and I, I say to, cause you asked Brent, I'm like the red caps, nasty little creatures, but uh, they don't normally work together. Somebody is bossing these little bastards around and they probably know we're here. I'd imagine. <clears throat> so they're summoned then. I shrug conjured summoned. Created from from blood, I I, I don't know. I move uh, one more see, like into the hallway. You see, that this room is there's only one entrance. Uh, the other side is kind of crumbly, but this is a, a room that's secure. There's only there's four walls. It looks like maybe they were in here. This is where they like ate bodies and stuff but when they when they slept. You see like two marks, and this is probably where they go to like chew on the bodies. Temple, do they cook their food? I shake my head. I'm like, we 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 probably wouldn't consider it food. It's it's mostly, you know, blood and flesh, organs, bone marrow. Uh, Everything you, 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 you saw. Else you saw living. the way those. You <laughs> saw the way those little fuckers looked at Kel. Uh, uh, you you remember uh, Temple that. Um, hmm. these creatures have to coat their their hats in blood, and if it dries after three days, they 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 disappear. So they have to constantly have a source of blood to keep their. There you go. Hat okay. Yeah. So I I I communicate to that to Brandon. I'm like I I I heard this story, and I tell you about the hat thing. I look around the fire to see since they don't need to cook their food. I look around the fire to see if there's any like prints of like another humanoid or something like that. You don't see anything. Just see boot prints everywhere. Okay. If they don't need to cook their food and they don't need to see in the dark, why this why this fire? And uh, there's nothing else the, in this room? Look at the fire or, and it looks like pieces of crates and wood chunks just being burnt in the center. Mm-hmm. Are there any wood chunks with the symbol on it? Ah. You... They're too scarred to, okay. they're too burn up to tell. But I mean, it's probably logical that this probably came. This doesn't look like wood from outside. It looks like old dry there's, wood. There's, there's nothing else. Like, there's nothing else yeah. in that room. Nothing else in the room now. Okay. okay. So I, I say to Bryn, I'm like, Bryn, we should keep looking. We don't have that much time left before the other mercenaries find out we're here. And I, I just feel like, come on, we should, we should look around. I sneak guys, past everybody and, well, and go up to this this spot over here. When you walk back into that room, I'm on the ground trying to pull off their their uh, 
boots that kicked Cal. <laughs> when uh, you're like them up against the bottom of your yeah. did there, oh, yeah. so did any of their stuff did any of their stuff stick around dan or did it all turn into a mushroom it seemed like all of it was magically summoned with the creature itself so everything uh, shriveled uh, away there's their boots their sickles their everything so maybe, turned okay. back in this mushroom mess that maybe it's magrum <clears throat> looking for the boots and being disappointed like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and what it, it is. It's, that other room, you see more bodies on the ground, like another small feeding area. But you also notice behind you, there's a what looks like another one of those stone things, right uh, here. Oh, like another stone that's blocking the the doorway. Yeah, blocking the door. I can't see for shit in here. Stupid human eyes. Is there anything <laughs> this way, Bryn, or just more bones? I'm going to like. Listen at the door. Wait a second. I know, I know it, it, it may seem cautious, way too cautious, but I would love to. Wait a goddamn minute. Anything. I've got night vision goggles. I'm going to put those on. <laughs> so I probably, I probably like, yeah, I'm like, wait, wait a second. And I, I reach into my bag and I take out a pair of glass uh, lenses with a leather strap and I take my hat off and I tighten them around my head and I pull my hat back on. I'm like, tap, tap, tap. And then they, they start to glow. Yeah. I have, I can mimic a uh, magic items. So I have like a rope of climbing and some, um, night seeing like goggles. So I don't you have a dark vision. Light. I got dark vision. Yeah. 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 yeah and I'm not have, sure if it's 120 or 60, but you have, let me check. you have dark vision now. I have, I have oh my God. It's so much better. I can see now. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Thank you. All right. I listen at that door. Right. 23. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Yeah, I rolled 23. <laughs> okay, uh, then you hear faintly in the distance whispering and like nervous chatter. Like you can hear just the faintest sound. It's, it's a little too far away to make anything out, but someone's talking and they sound a little nervous. So, okay, okay, okay. okay. Someone behind the store, far behind the door. If we open it, they might hear it. So be ready. Can you make out what they're saying? No. They're having a conversation. They sound worried. As well they should be. Right. Look around, make sure everybody's ready. And I give the door like a little push. All right, you're going to open it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You open the door, and unfortunately, get on the um, floor, and then behind the door, you can see what made all those footprints. Oh, okay. What the hell is that you thing? Before you, <laughs> you see ah, this giant. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, he's he's so beautiful. I love this, him. This, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This oh, giant I haven't seen frog. I haven't seen Wetly in such a long time. I've missed you. Know, you. Right? Yeah, Wetly. <laughs> See this giant frog like monstrosity just standing there motionless, except there's a little arm hanging out of its mouth. And it just it's <laughs> its back is turned towards you. And it doesn't seem to respond to your moving the door. <clears throat> It's stupid. Dan, have we been He's... looking around longer than a minute? Yeah, I would say. Okay, can you delete the spiritual hammer then? I was going to use it in combat, but if it's gone. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. All right. Um, what do you do? Put, put, put the I look at the thing. No, no, I, the look, I, look, I look at the thing. <laughs> we all look at each other like, what the fuck? <laughs> I look at the thing and then look at the doorway. And I kind of judge like... This thing can't fit through this doorway. Did you say it's you're rubbery? Speaking? It can squeeze. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. Does it, does it look no, like no, this no, thing no, can no, fit no, through no, this no. doorway? I mean, I, I, by, the, by the rules, can squeeze, yeah. By, by the rules, it can squeeze. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, it could fit. It could follow us. But if if you if we fight it in the doorway and it tries to get at us, it'll be a disadvantage for everything. It'll be real easy to kill if it tries to get in there. So. All right. Um, 
So it hasn't been, it hasn't probably been an hour since our last fight, right? It hasn't. No, no it's been like a few minutes. Like okay, cool. Minutes. Um, I, uh, let's see. <laughs> Magram. What? I'm best, I'm best from a distance for us. I would volunteer myself, but. I'm not this plugging is our the best. Hole. I'm not. I'm this not is our best it. chance nope. of killing this thing. Don't you say it, Magrum. Nope, Magrum. I agree. Bryn is best from a distance. Someone's got to block the door. And I look at Kel, and I'm like, Hell, Kel is hurt. <laughs> Do you wish for me to die right away? Then yes, I can block the door. We'll hear you. Uh, that rock was blocking the door. Just fine. As you guys are talking and whispering, you hear from right. deeper in the cave. <laughs> Kill them, you fool! This woman, yeah, howling <laughs> voice. Shit. And that's when the thing turns around. Wow. Yep. The roll initiative. Great. Okay. It's so derpy looking. I love it. <laughs> should've, yeah, should have been firing when you were talking. And you were talking. It's okay. all right. That's all right. We can get. We can get this guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, I rolled. Dan, can you um can you add turn for me? I didn't have my token selected. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just right click on my token and go add add turn and put it at fifteen. Sorry. This character all ready to go. Nice. All right. Nice. Good then. work. <clears throat> add turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that should just add roll? for me. Yeah, and I got a fifteen. I got a fifteen. Not much to do the order correctly. Well, the good news is you all get to go first before it gets to act. Thank goodness. And you're going to be very happy for that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Ren, once again, well, you get to go first. First thing I do. Um, and now tell me, tell me if this is, is cool. Cause I looked up the word subsequent to see, mm -hmm. and it just means coming after in time. It doesn't mean the very next, as far as Hunter's mm -hmm. Mark goes. It, the spell itself lasts an hour, so if if it's, I can move the hunter's mark to this thing. I don't know if that's like cool with you or or if that's rules. Well, yeah, th that's the way it works. Is like you basically okay. have it in your yeah. mind for an hour, and you can swap it whenever, even if you have swap. the target. Okay, cool. So that's what I do. I like take the hunter's mark that was on the previous red cap, throw it okay. on the 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 fucking eyeball of this thing, and then. Uh, fire a uh, fire shot. Okay, go for it. Twenty-four. You hit. You definitely hit. Seven damage, and then hunter's okay. mark. Three more, so ten. Okay. He and then I take one more shot. Respond to any pain. He just stands no there motionless. No blood. <laughs> like it, it goes right into his. It goes right into his flesh. It definitely is hurting him, but it's okay. It's, he's not reacting to it. Okay. Okay. I, I like, I like, just like, like fire and arrow, and I know it met its mark and hit purchase. I'm just like, oh shit! <laughs> like an Elvin, just like curse again. Fucking throw another arrow into it. I feel Let's like, go. I feel like by hanging out with Bryn, the only Elvish words that I know are swear words. <laughs> right yeah, now, for sure. Uh, that's another arrow. So twenty eight. Do another damage. Ten. Hunter's mark. One more. So eleven, and then. Uh, Mm, there it is. Colossus Slayer. Ah, that's nice. There we go. So 10, 21, 29 total this round. Okay. He and then I back the fuck up to on top I'm like standing on top of the mushrooms that was on the that was the dead the red cap. Definitely mm -hmm. hurting this thing, but it's just standing there like a statue, just waiting to go. Okay. No, um, okay. Okay. Max, your turn. Um, considering I have one HP, I think I'm just going to move over here and fire a bolt. Switch over to the bolt and fire at the froggy. Okay. Oh, so Go you're you're behind this red cap? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You just how you disappear. It's like, well, no, come back. <laughs> I'll move him out of the way. Oh, well, that's where I am. Heavy crockle bolt. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Not <laughs> that's enough. why I was concerned. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's a miss for sure. And one more. 
Hey, hey yeah, yeah, great. Oh, nice. Oh, that helped. That's better. All that damage. That is a terrible roll. Ooh. What? Oh. So, so two two how things two things here. Uh, mm-hmm. So two two things real quick. Yeah, I don't know how how you rolled. Oh, because it's it's subtracting your dexterity. Um, so two quick <laughs> things. Uh, one, normally normally a heavy crossbow can't fire twice in the same round. Uh, because it has the reloading quality. However, I have an ability uh, called infuse item that is repeating shot, which negates that. Uh, and I hadn't used it yet. So if Dan's okay with it, we could say I put uh, my repeating shot on your crossbow. That. Okay, totally so you're going to deal that that heavy crossbow will deal one extra damage and get an extra plus one to hit. And you can fire it to use your normal abilities. Yeah, 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 because it's not magical. Awesome. So you do seven piercing damage to it. Yeah, I think yeah. do you do eight? Like can you can you actually reduce it to damage to zero if you have a minus on your well, damage modifier? I'm not sure. Um Yeah, I don't know either. Uh I, I'll try to yeah, look it does up. Does anyone chat now? It's the only the only difference is one. I think it's one one yeah. damage is minimum. We'll, yeah. We'll put that I'll I'll we'll roll roll we'll that up. later. Just let's just go on to next turn okay. while uh we're waiting. Um there is okay. no minimum. Okay, so it can go to zero. Um, but if anyone yeah, wants to take a, a roll on the page, well, but yeah, uh, actually, it is uh, Adam's turn now, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take my yeah. turn, and then I can I can find mm-hmm. that rule. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to. If it looks like we're hurting it, and this isn't like some kind of bullshit illusion or whatever, uh, I will start by shooting it with my force ballista as usual. Okay. So let's see how I do. Ooh, I only got an eleven miss. on the force ballista. Yeah. So it's a miss. Okay. All right. Yeah, a miss. And then I figure I might as well. I've got one more second level spell. I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Um, okay. So it works the same. It's the same as my fire. Essentially, I'm firing three fire bolts. So instead of like charging up a fire with my wand and shooting it once, I charge it up and then I leave three little orbs of fire hanging in the air and then they, they all fire off uh, together. So here is the first one. I get a 13. That is a miss, yes, unfortunately. That's a miss. Okay. All right. Uh, a near miss. Second shot. Yeah. Second shot is an 18. That's Here a hit. Go. That's a hit. Okay. So it deals three, three plus a D8. You, you okay, see so the four skin fire on damage. it. See the uh, skin on it sizzling as it burns away. Mm. You're definitely okay, dealing damage again. I, I got one more shot. All right. Scorching me is three. So I got one more. And this time, oh, this time I only got a 13. Oh. Oh, sorry. That's yeah. a, and I'm gonna yes. save my last my last lucky, but I am gonna move. So Go I do all it. this all this shooting, and despite the thing being the size of a barn, mm-hmm. uh, I can't seem to hit it. Uh, and I'm going to. I just want to get out of line of sight of it, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Magrum, it is your turn. I'm trying to ask how to phrase this question, or I'm trying to wonder how to phrase this question. Uh. Do it. Are these rooms that we're in, uh, are these just the result of a cave or are these man made metal structures? It looks like this used to be some sort of foundation of a building that was here many, many, many years ago. And like the land just sort of swallowed it back up. But it doesn't look, it looks, it looks very old, dated, crumbly, like it. It's not part of the cave for sure. It's, it definitely was man-made at some point. So it is indeed a manufa- manufactured metal object. It is not metal. It is definitely Damn. stone. But what if it's a... No, I can't. Okay, never mind. I'll try to lawyer you. So... So the the rule the rule is that there's no it's one of those things where there's no there's no rule saying this is the rule but there's also no rule saying there's a minimum so oh, okay. it, you can reduce you can reduce your damage to nothing uh, on a die uh, creatures with very low strength can just not be capable of dealing any damage with an unarmed attack like if you have a minus four yeah. or whatever you'll never be able to hurt anybody with your fists yeah yeah I, I will rule lawyer for this one that since it's a crossbow bolt that it, it would have at least did something. It's, it's a weapon, sure. a pure weapon, so yeah, I'll give sense. you at least one damage. That's fine, yeah. Even, like, an amateur can shoot a crossbow and accidentally hit someone. Yeah, right, so... I, I don't think crossbows should should have uh, bonuses to damage for, for dexterity anyway, because they're mechanical items. Yeah. That's just me, sense. though. Yeah. It's true. All right, Magrum? All right, I was, like I was going to try to be fancy, but Dan doesn't want me to be fancy. 
because he's not a fancy DM, I guess. God. Oh, I, I will let you do creative <laughs> things if you can describe how it works and why. <laughs> well, if there's no metal in these, I can't do it. Uh, so instead, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on this guy. All right. Uh, Jesus Christ, it's like DMing for Magneto. Is, yeah, there's iron in his blood. Yeah, <laughs> Unfortunately, that is indeed a miss. Okay. All right. That's a miss. All right. Would you like to move? I got to plug the hole, Dan. That's what I was instructed to do. So I'm plugging okay. the hole to the best of my Oh, no, 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 not that. Back, back up one. What? You think back up like hair? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. We get him squoze. All right, plug in the hole. All right. We can still hit him without hitting you. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm short. You can it, just shoot I over mean, me. Yeah, we're planning for all this stuff, but just watch. Watch. Something horrible is going to happen that's going to screw yeah. up He's all gonna, yeah, gonna so, Just like, know it. You know the carrot? Here, know, here it he comes. Hit with his head. <laughs> now, now he... Looking. This is all happening at once, you guys, and then also the orders from behind yeah. are yelling. So now he uh, comes to alert. He sees wow. you. And then he's in the other room. He teleports into the other room. Teleporting frog ass motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) And I get into position. I like hunker down. And then the guy just fucking just does a tongue attack. Yeah. Yeah. On Bryn. Yep. I tried. 18 hits. Yep. Okay. um, Make uh, you take 12 necrotic damage. That's not too bad. And then I just like to remind game. everyone. I just like to remind everyone present here that the use of the tongue, even months later, still not consensual. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not consensual. <laughs> oh, so the damage and, happens no matter what, but the DC 15 save is to see if I get pulled to it. You get yanked. Yes. And oh, then DC. if you do, guess what? You're going in that mouth. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you, get, you get pulled to the creature and now as a bonus action it gets to make a bite attack and it misses so it just it jumps down but then it misses it hits the walls you like move you're very you move out of the way the last second and that's the end of its turn friend it is now your turn yeah, I just like it, he he like tongued my back because I did not like know what was happening. Just like, where the fuck did it go? <laughs> like, fuck. Then I turn around, like, get the fuck off me. Now, my, I'm not bound or constrict or anything. It was just like, I get so I can move, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move back. Back to here. And I'm going to fucking uh, fire on it again. <laughs> in order to move without getting an oh, attack of opportunity, shit, you have that's to That's right. Attack of opportunity. I'm yeah. right. Right, right, right. It's true. Um oh god damn. If you're healthy, you could Yeah, and unfortunately fire. that room on the other side is so tight that even <clears throat> if I force ballista this nerd, it won't he has nowhere to go. So mm-hmm. right. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm, I got to get out of the way. I got to let my, I, not only do I have to, you know, uh, use my bar, would like to use my bow, but like, gotta get out of the way of this fucking so other people can have a shot. So I'm going to get attack of opportunity. So let's see what happens with that first in case I die right where I'm standing. Okay. Nothing feels worse than getting downed by an attack of opportunity. Nothing. It's the worst. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna do take the attack for opportunity, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take gonna it. Do it. Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> Here we go. It misses. Oh fuck yeah! It misses. You're fine. Oof. All right, there so you go. Fucking dodge gross. out of the way, just like uh, trying to chomp on me again. I back yeah. the fuck up, knock an arrow in, throw it at him. Come on, kill it. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, do the damage. Uh, damage. Uh, eight. eight. Awesome. Uh, plus He's hundred smart. Definitely mark, injured, which is eleven. Okay, three more. And then That's good. One time for this. Fuck. Uh, okay. So ah, eleven. Give 12, me that damage. Twelve that time. Another extra damage or another extra attack. Okay, come on. Twenty six. Do it. 
Laying down. 11. Hunter's Mark. 16. Okay, 16. Oh, that's great. No that's good damage. Okay. He's looking beat the hell up. But not dead. <laughs> no. Yeah. Pouring arrows into this fucking thing. Yeah. It's definitely <laughs> bleeding this black fluid profusely out of its the every place you're hitting and slicing it. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything and then yeah, that's it. Turn? I moved. Uh bonus action. I can't. Move, I don't like sorry, go ahead. Just have a little bit of movement left if you want to move out of its line of sight so it can't tongue you, maybe. Well, that, oh yeah, then I can move back in. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I, I mean, will. It's move. a teleporting frog, so like, fucking yeah. all bets are off anyway. <laughs> that's fucking. That's very true. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a real hard yeah. time trying to maneuver around. I'm this just gonna. Thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking like. That's fine. Sneak right there. Does anyone? Okay. Can anyone see? And I, I guess I probably shout this too. Can anyone see the thing giving this thing orders? I, I hear a voice. Kel, hear him. Do you see anybody? Magnum, you hear voices in the other room talking, bickering, like you can't really make out the words, but they're definitely close enough. You can hear a group of people bickering with each other, arguing. Hmm. Okay. You definitely hear the sound of argument, but you can't really <laughs> hear much more than that from where you are because the battle's going on. Gotcha. All right. No um, I think, is, is it Max's turn now? Uh, yes, it is Max's turn. Go ahead. Okay, I'm not... He's reconnecting, so should we just say he had, gets in the way and attacks the <laughs> toad? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah um, we'll just say that... I mean, we'll I can do what it is. I can take my yeah. turn, and then by the time I'm done, sure. if, if Max may, is reconnected, yeah, we'll do that. We can just say we that matter. we just switch. It matter who it's, goes it's, it's, all, it's three, it's three yeah. PCs in a row, so I'm, I'm happy taking my turn mm -hmm. first. Yeah, we um, definitely could. Yeah. Okay, well, let me see. I can move... I want to basically what I'm doing is moving in range and shooting, then running away. So I'll move <laughs> 10 feet up here so I can see him. Like I'm running in, slide around the corner, force a ballista. See if I can hit this nerd. I get a come on, force ballista. I got a 14. Uh, uh you just miss. Fuck. Oh, just miss. I keep getting 13s and 14s. I know. Okay, all right, so I fire, I miss, or, like, maybe I hit it, but I don't hit it hard enough to, like, it's not square on to hit. Um, and then, do I have any damaging first-level spells? No, because I want to save them for shield. So I will, uh, I will firebolt, I suppose. Yeah. And I get a 22. You hit him. Good. All right. And then Put another that shit at him. Oh, not Good bad. Damage. All right, so Good I deal damage. 15 okay. fire damage. Okay, he's badly injured, but just barely hanging on. You can tell he's one more good hit. Looks like it'll put him down. Cool. Well, it won't come for me. I'm running back around the corner. You damn frog. You all get to go before it does. Just go ahead and go, JP. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter who it kills it first. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to line up with this thing and cast Guiding Bolt at third level. We'll okay. see if it actually works. If it connects, it'll do a lot of damage. But yep, fifteen. Fifteen's just enough. I, just oh, enough. I, was saying, I believe that's its armor yeah. class. Uh, so yeah. it's a D six per. So that's you click on the guiding bolt. You can do third level, and it'll do it for you. Uh, is that in the attack? Because when I clicked it from the spell, it did you, not do that. Let's try this. You click on the word guiding bolt, like you would roll damage. Um, yeah, click on the damage like, word, in the, and in it the should chat. prompt you. It'll prompt you for what? Ah, spell. okay, yeah, good. There it is. There you go. Yeah, it, the the point at which it does it is a little later. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so third level damage is okay. nineteen. What does it look like or when wait. you blow this thing out of existence? You kill your, it oh, with your holy See you later, nerd light. frog. Um, it disappears. I throw the hammer at the uh, at the toad, and the toad it goes into. Oh, you guys can like hear me, but I can't it. hear you. Okay, I'm gonna mute we, Max. We so can hear you, Max. <laughs> and, uh, I, I throw the hammer at the, the toad he like eats it and then he like chews on it for a second and then just explodes <laughs> and we're all just sitting there covered in toad whatever viscera yeah and all, out of his body just pours all these limbs and bits and bops of oh. like a hand there's a leg there's an arm and it just sort of starts convulsing as it like starts to 
unsummon itself because it's it's created by dark rituals and it starts to decompose right in front of you extremely fast as it goes back to its unsummoned form. Just this um, black goo <laughs> liquid. Then I go I go right over here to beside that doorway. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of like shout like through the door like the creature is dead. Hand over the box, or else the same will happen to you. Give me a uh, perce- uh Give me a perception check first, Good. and then a uh, persuasion check as well. Uh, okay. eight. Ooh, eight. <laughs> Good. You Good. can only. And then- you're, you're only hearing bits and pieces of the conversation, like. <laughs> Surely I killed it. No, no, you uh, you didn't summon it right. God damn it. No, you are the fat. You are terrible. Why did I? So I, I take out my gun and I say, Ramus Krill, come out with your hands up. We know it's you. Come out of there, buddy. Stop yelling at Berg. Oh, shit. Was this an entire episode like, like young, uh, young Ramus? Yeah. Quarter yeah, right. Muppet Babies. He walks out and no. <laughs> you hear from the doorway. Wait, 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 leave, leave our, leave our sanctum, or we will destroy you with foul magics. Persuasion, another eight. Ooh, that just, we'll just <laughs> that so persuasive. I, I say that to Brynn. I'm like, I, I, I don't think it worked. Well, we'll just kill them, I suppose. We're uh, okay. coming in there to kill you. Just letting you know. I think they're coming. I think they're coming. Shh, shh. <laughs> you shut up. Don't you tell me what to do. You shh. You just hear this bickering back and forth of these sound like women in the back room. All right. Who's going out? I'll, kill I'll, I'll, I'll knock an arrow. Have it ready. And uh, I'll go with. They don't sound like they're. They don't sound like they're, uh, uh, they want to fight. So maybe if I have an arrow knock right at their fucking face, they'll. Yeah, right. Go from, yeah, go from persuasion to intimidation once we get face to face with them. Yep. Okay. That's, uh, where I'm at right now. Any, see anything there? No, you just don't see anything. Okay. I go here. It sounds like all the talking is coming from the, Hallway on your left, a little bit further okay. up. Okay. You hear the noises come so, from there. I don't see anything in this up the the northern northern direction. Uh, nope. See nothing that way. Okay. And you hear the word Ooh. newt. He shouted out of, of nowhere. Just they speak <laughs> loudly about something like a newt. Okay. Okay. As soon as you step right there, okay. one of the hags casts polymorph on you as a held action. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Can I let it, can I let the arrow go? Since I'm um, ready. Or not? I will let them go down. at I'll let them go at it the same time. It might be worth an initiative an initiative roll. Right? Yeah, let's let's do initiative, sure. We'll Cuz I think that that's usually how we figure if like I'm holding yeah. an action so am I. Cool. What goes off first? Okay. So, let's Um should everybody roll, roll or do you just want to use it to to balance uh, the Let's let everyone roll just so we just for um safety. Yeah, sure we can keep, keep track of what's happening. what. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. Nice zero. Yep. Not bad. I got 17. Decent for me too, but I don't have one HP. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, don't don't worry, Brain. If they turn you into you'll get better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh first let me describe what you see. Okay. Um mm-hmm. you see this old wizen, nasty, gnarly woman up on a, a an altar. Oh, and there's a bunch of body parts lying on the ground in front of her and you see two heads of other women on spikes that are Woo. that are she's talking to and are talking back they seem like they're like on spikes but it's just their head but they look very similar to her um and they're, they're all arguing and the one on the pedestal is the one that's like holding the spell about to uh, uh cast at you that's what you see when you turn on the corner is she sees you, you see her, and then um, once we do initiative, let's see. Oh, zero. Okay, so 
Uh, let's go. <laughs> did you, JP, did you get a yeah. zero on your initiative? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's buddy. Impressive. I mean, that's, yep, it happens. Okay, hold on. So, Bren, you do get to go first. Um, would you like to okay. fire an arrow at her? Now, is that my only option? Um, you can do with, on your turn what you like. Uh, okay. You can do it on, I'll, I'll let you do whatever you want on your turn. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, then I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, cause then, then I can, I can shoot and then move. Okay. Sure. So I will take the shot, move the hunter's mark, bonus action. That's fine. 19. <clears throat> uh, that hits. Okay. She Nine. kisses as you like land an arrow right in her freaking shoulder and she doesn't like that very much. Ooh, nice. Six. Excellent. Six. Nice. A 15 total, um, and then uh, I'll take the next attack. 12. That's Ooh. a big miss. That's okay. A miss. Then I will um, move around this corner here. Oh, wait. Is, she, is it coming from up here? Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, you can't see into the room? Okay, let me double check. You should be able to. Oh, that's right. There you go. There we go. Safe. Okay. There you go. Yep. And then I I yeah, move safe. this way and hide behind this like this the doorway. Okay. Um. Now it'll be her turn. Now there's and only one her, of them she... that is a full body, right? The rest of them are heads. Yeah. The one up on the pedestal is a full body. The other two just seem to be heads on on spikes. Okay. Um, I, I look at the crew there's, and there's I I just talking. I seriously like yeah. They're talking Sky, and animated. Hear what like, I'm about to say, and I go, one woman and two heads. <laughs> I just look at the crew said and it was just hard say to that. get a head in the world. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's this unreasonable, unreasonable Ooh. beauty standards for hags, right? You just they just <laughs> stop eating until they're as thin <laughs> as a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, ladies. Pew, pew. Looking good. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. So, she is. Going to, she's going to do something, and now whoever wants to go, wait, next can go. <laughs> That's it's not now at Max's all. turn. Yeah, it's Max's turn. I think it's, I think it's me. I think Max. I think Max I think and I are switched. Yeah, in the oh area. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. For Sorry, me. yeah. We just got it's jostling around. around. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck! Uh, I can't even see what's going on. So, like, Bryn, I'm like, where, where are they? What's happening? What, what do I do? Because Bryn, I can't, I can't see anything from back here. Even I, there's nothing. What do I shoot? And I guess, so I guess I'll move. Let's see. I, I can like, move up here. Just, oh, oh, there the they are. <laughs> uh, as soon as you cross into her vision, her yeah, reaction thanks, goes Bryn. off. <laughs> The reaction goes of course. Off. <laughs> so I, I think and I walk into the archway looking at Bryn, and Bryn is like, they're in there. And I'm like, what? Where? Ah! And I see them, and then something horrible happens to me. And she casts Polymorph on you. Um, yes. So you, need, so you need to make a wisdom saving throw. EC 14. EC 14. You still, you still have any inspiration? Or? Uh, I do have my inspiration. Yes, thank you for reminding me yeah. about that, Max. I'm going to use it, so I have advantage yeah, on this because my what kind of save is this? Uh, wisdom save? Yeah, I'm not wisdom. great at these. All right, wisdom with advantage. Here we go. Oh yes, I got a 16. Ooh. I'm good. You succeed. So you feel your your body start to like tighten up as it about to shrink, but then you managed to fight it off last second, and now you can have excellent. Your um great well i look into the room and i see uh i i adjust my night vision goggles and uh like timmy from jurassic park i see my death before me um i i'm really tempted to take a shot at one of the ones on the sticks just to see if it like fucks with their magic because i know it. that like hags are like a team or whatever but where's mm -hmm. the which one is the the on the one that casts a spell on me is the one like right in front of me right this one uh the one that casts a spell is on the platform the ones that are Below oh, her, um, all right. In a yeah, line yeah. Let me. The heads. Yeah. Let me try to take out. Let me try to take out the ads first. So I'll, I'll take a shot at this this head on a stick. Okay. Um, with my force ballista. Go for it. I got a twenty-two. You hit. Roll damage. I deal nine force damage. Okay. The head explodes. 
Yeah. Yeah. And she does and the, the yeah, does she one on the out? platform goes no 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 and she's like she's trying to frantically do things with her hand but it's not working anymore <laughs> that's, that's right lady like, oh, I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> okay and then yeah and then with my wand in the other hand I'll firebolt the other the other severed head uh, okay. I get a oh, I only get a twelve this time okay that one does hit. Oh, um, misses. Okay, misses. and then I will move. I'll move back my t- remaining ten feet and get the hell back out of there. So I, yeah, I come around the corner. I'm like, oh god, and I turn. Magic tries to turn me into a newt or whatever. I resist it. I shoot one of the heads. Blood flies everywhere, and then I just like panic back roll uh, away from there. Uh, and that's my that's my turn. I heard okay. something. Did you kill her? <laughs> I was yeah. I'm like I don't know. I, sh- I saw there's some heads on sticks. I shot one. It blew up. She seemed mad. And uh, Max, it's your turn. I suppose I'll give it a try. Mm-hmm. Goes over there. Crossbow bolt down. Or crossbow out. <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah, you just shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's not as nice though. It's more like. <laughs> it's more you know, <laughs> haggard because I'm uh, in a bad way. Uh, heavy crossbow, first one. Okay, you. Uh, what are you firing at? The head or uh, head, the way? Yeah. Okay, you hit. Roll damage. Head explodes. It's gone too. Yes. She's she screamed. No! Like she's really mad as you killed her friends. The only one left. The only target left is her, and we decided I have. That. Yes. Okay. I have a crossbow, so here comes another one. Oh, and you miss, unfortunately, with the other one. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Okay. Yeah, uh, Max, uh, in it, your uh, crossbow macro, just remember to just put a plus one on damage and, and to hit. Um, okay. Sometimes maybe one will make a difference. <laughs> okay, uh, JP, it's your turn now. Even with a zero, it's my turn? Yeah, you do get a turn. Uh, <laughs> so the yes, you, you get a turn. Oh, okay. we started on nine. Uh, oh, so okay. so we wrote, yeah. we, did, we started in the yeah. middle of the order and rotated through. Gotcha. Yeah. And she yeah. did a ready to action. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I poke my head in the door, see the hag standing there, and I will. I guess I'm gonna guiding bolt it as well at uh, second level. Nineteen. Right. That hit. All right, you hit. You hit. Roll damage. Uh, uh, so 16 plus four is 20 radiant. Yeah. I don't know why it has healing on there. Shit. Um, either, yeah. That's weird looking. Yeah. So she takes 20 radiant damage and she hisses. She does not like that. that okay. Was really annoying. And then I will, uh, and walk away from the door. She's also jealous that you're casting spells. She doesn't like that. <laughs> How does she express she her jealousy? Anymore. What does she say? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> She's, she gives you like a sassy, like, I could do that if I didn't <laughs> kill my friends. You know, I could do even worse. <laughs> okay, um, cool. Yep. I do the guiding bolt, walk away, leave the door okay, open. Bryn, um, it is now your turn, and you have advantage on the first attack because of guiding bolt. Yep. Swell. Well, yeah. I'll take that, take that opportunity, and I'll step in here, look at the two exploded heads that were on the six, get impressed. <laughs> And fire one shot at her with advantage. Hey, you didn't need yeah. it. Yeah, hit her. Roll damage. <laughs> You've rolled 13. so many 29s. This I know, dude. Hell yeah. This character is blessed. He was yeah. one. Stat rolls. Yeah, the mm-hmm. stats were nuts on the rolls. It was crazy. All right, one more. Plus Perfect. A giant killer, or excuse me, Claw Slayer. Yep. Five more. So man, you do 14 damage. damage. 19 damage. Okay, yeah, she's looking what? bad. She's looking bad. One more at her. 21. Oh, another good solid hit. Yep, thing. you hit her. 13. 13. Good. That's Plus another max four. damage. 17. <laughs> good lord. Yeah. Mess her up. Mm-hmm. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll move back to where I was. <laughs> okay. I love this. It um, feels like, Hog- like, like Hogan's Alley, just like popping out. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're playing time uh, yeah. time crisis or or yeah. Virtua Cop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bren, you can see around the corner without endangering yourself because you're you're trained on like peeking around corners and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you see her, and she takes out a knife, and she says, "I will have to be the final one." And she stabs herself in the chest, and blood Ooh. just starts pouring out all from her body all over this pile of 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 flesh on the ground and you see the flesh start to move and stand up and you see great good you see a everything's fine creature all good stand up and congratulate us for winning knit, knitted together from the, <laughs> like dozens of different bodies <laughs> Dozen of different bodies. Um, she falls limp because she's dead. Um, yeah, she killed herself, and this thing stands up, and it looks around, and is like, "Ah, uh, where am I?" You hear it say, "What?" It she looks down at its body. Ah, such a feeble form. You there. I intend you no harm. You may come up. When she now, when she says uh, uh, when this when this thing when the thing says you there, I, I imagine Br- Bryn and I do the like me, him, me, him, him, me, which <laughs> are you? Me? Tim, right? You yeah, want to talk friend. to him? I'm gonna uh, him. Me? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the night of the Roxbury. Um, now, no. since my give me a perception enemy... check as well. Give me a perception check real fast to see if you can notice something that's happening. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. You notice that in the cracks of the walls and every little spot in this room, things are growing. Plants are growing quickly. Mushrooms mm-hmm. are sprouting at a really increased rate, like almost like time lapse, but they're growing quickly and plant life is slowly filling this room. Beautiful. And th- now you can speak. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a, my favorite enemy is undead. Is this undead? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this, this body is undead. Yes. This body, this thing Ooh. is inside. Okay. Is undead for sure. So, um, I have advantage on intelligence checks to recall information about them. Can I do an intelligence check to see what this thing is or like that kind of stuff? Sure. Weaknesses, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. Um, this looks to you like what usually is a referred to as a flesh golem. Like, mm-hmm. if, but flesh golems don't speak. It's not something that yeah. they don't, they're not. They don't have a voice. They don't speak. They don't. Usually, they're just inanimate and they just follow orders. This thing is speaking. I have which is not. I normal. have. A th- I have a theory. I have a theory, and I'd like to peek around the corner to maybe like see if I can figure this out. But does the golem have the the mark that we've been looking for on it anywhere? Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. Because I'm wondering if this is maybe a like bring the ancient alchemist back to life situation. Uh, so I don't, you, yeah, I don't know. I don't see yeah. it if it is, has one. You don't see the thing that any marks on the body at all, but hmm. you do notice cause it's pretty brightly lit. You do, do you see a bunch of crates in the back and one of the hmm. things does have a mark on it. Like the way you're looking for. How are you talking? back to the room? I, it's hard. This, Form is unusual to me. What year is it? I I tell him the year. Why it's Christmas Day, wow. sir? <laughs> wow. There's still time then. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Many years have passed since they betrayed me. I I feel it. The land, it's sick, it's corrupted. What have they done? My sisters, 
She looks down at the dead bodies. Oh, they were beautiful once. Now they're... So was I. Wizened and corrupted. Oh, this will not do. I feel the land is crying. Sad. It's okay, I've returned. Who? Tell them. Has returned. Oh. You see it try to make a smile. Not that easily. Go back to your settlements that you crawled from. That poisoned the earth. Tell them. The time is coming. They will pay for what they've done. To the land. To me. I'm back. And then the body just tumbles to the ground. And oh, this, no. like, this mist starts like falling out of it and just seems like it's absorbing into all the plants that have been growing in the room and then fades away. I go into the room about that far. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I do notice the plants. And I noticed what he said, because what he said is very, like, it hits me because nature is very important to me. And he's talking about po- like people poisoning the land, and I, I hate that as well. But I do have a job to do, so I look around for the box that we're here for. You see in the corner of the room a bunch of crates, and one of them has a symbol on it you're looking for. Okay. Well, judging by how the quickly the plants are growing, shit might go down. So I'm going to run over to those. And like smash, smash it open, like uh, pry it open, whatever I got to do to yep. get in there you to see if the, if the bar open it with, in there. without too much trouble. And inside you find a box about this big and it's very finely polished wood. It has sigils on it. And the biggest one is the symbol you're looking for. And this what thing kind of feels powerful. <laughs> Man, you you it to find out what kind of wood it is. What's, uh, what kind of wood is? <laughs> you guys have, <laughs> you guys have any like want to wrap up before I do the time skip and end the episode? Um, no, no I just I I say like I grab the box, <laughs> I turn around, I look at them, and you hear him say something in Elvis. You did, you uh, <laughs> you probably did, don't hear very often from him. Only swears. <laughs> this time he turns around and goes, bingo. In Elvish, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> really, bingo is an Elvish okay. word. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. We we fade out. Our adventurers make it back to the city. They give the box back to the Baron. They get their gold, and the flaming rose makes its name that day. And many things will come from them over time. But we fast forward, and we're in a dark room, and we see the man from the very beginning. Cloaked in the corner, his white, pale skin hanging out just out of his cloak. Bring it to me. And the box that you guys gathered is brought before him. And he does some sort of sign, and the sigils on the box fade away. And then he opens the box. And inside, he pulls out a vial. A vial of this yellowish liquid with silvery bits traveling up and down and swirling inside. Ah, it's not much, but it'll do. Let's test it. And he drops, takes a little bit of it and drops it into this vat of blood. And he stirs the pot says, hey, get over here. And the man that was thrown earlier hobbles over. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Here, here. And takes the, the, the thing of blood and goes over to this cage made, made of silver bars. And he tosses the vial of blood inside. And from the shadow, we see these red eyes open up. And this woman, naked, yet 
she's hairy and she's got like small wings on her back and sharp fangs rushes towards the blood and starts eating from it off the floor. She's lapping every bit of it up. She looks like she's hungry. But she's loving the blood. And then she starts to twitch and, and twitch and twitch. And then she starts to tighten up and then she turns into stone right before their eyes. Well, and we see the man sitting in the corner. Yes. And the moonlight just shines on his face and we see things from his mouth. It's like, ah, my brothers have lost their way. It's time to take things back. And then we fade away. Cool. Nice. Hey. Awesome stuff. That was rad. Yeah, good I job. Shoot man. that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, cool. Let's do some shout outs and uh, call it a one shot. Zeke, as always, you want to start us off? You betcha. Oh, my goodness. What a great adventure we had today. Thank you, Dan, for, for coming up with this world, coming up with the story. Uh, I had a blast. Uh, man, it was nice to do, like, just. Just be a straight up damage dealer, man. That was so much fun. <laughs> and Those damage like, numbers were insane. Yeah, man, That's that was good. good shit. So thank you, Dan, for for making this whole adventure for us. Uh, my name is Ezekiel the Third. You can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore I I I. Uh, if you want to find me broadcasting, I'm on uh, not on tomorrow, but I will be on well not on Tuesday because Tuesday I will be doing Quarter Swords, but Wednesday. After drop frames, I will be continuing my adventures in the outer. Uh, not the excuse me just out for wilds <laughs> um and it's been fantastic like i've been pleasantly surprised at how good this goddamn game is and i'm intrigued and I, i'm i'm ready to keep going with it so if you wanted to catch that it'll be wednesday after drop frames and probably continuing thursday depending on how long the game is but thank you to dan max uh adam and jp for making this highlight of my week every week and i'll see you i'll see you motherfuckers on tuesday <laughs> indeed <laughs> we will uh max coming to us from the moon out there on that 180p connection <laughs> do some shout outs uh, for us if the bit I, can handle I it don't move too quick well. don't move too quick stand there no like this? Uh, what? what is this about uh, <laughs> um yeah i'm also a streamer thanks for watching i look better than this on my stream fucking thing is annoying me I, we got to try something i don't know I gotta, if I that's true now. though but go ahead <laughs> wow <laughs> Wow, it hurts me. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed this, Dan. Thank you so much for for putting the time and work and effort in it. You can tell you were passionate and wanted uh, to to do well, and I think you did a fantastic job. I was very impressed for for a first time uh, DM, and uh, what better group to do with than the rest of us too that that always play together. And you know, I'm I'm happy that you were cool with us being your first. So thank you for having us as well. Um, and for you guys, hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching uh again sorry about the camera thing we'll see if we can fix that I, I i keep saying that but i really have no idea what to do other than maybe cry in a corner or something so we'll try that we'll see what happens yeah, thanks we'll for watching guys, we'll see uh uh next time on quarter swords when that comes on tuesday yeah uh adam do some shout outs for us you actually don't have to I, shout out anything else you just shout out yourself i would love to yeah i don't have to talk about the the q a or anything like that uh well thank you so much for for coming obviously everybody uh in the audience um this was great i had a really fun time i don't get to be a player very often especially not a player of 5e D D. so it was great to get to try out a new class and to uh to play around a little uh and dan you did great i'm so excited this was super fun thanks for putting it all together and obviously, uh, JP, Max, and Zeke, thank you for uh, for playing with me today. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Skinny Ghost or on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Adam Coble. Um, most of my content is role-playing game related in some way or another. I just finished playing Death Stranding, and I'm going to give myself a couple of days off from video games before I pick what I'm going to play next. Um, but yeah, just give me, give me a follow on Twitter, and, and you'll see when I go live, and you can check out my channel. Awesome stuff. I'll go next, and we'll save Dan for at last, as he did the DMing this episode. That is, uh, I guess, tradition here on Roleplay. I never thought about it, though. Uh, tomorrow, I'll just be live at 1 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what we're going to be playing. We're putting the Divinity playthrough on hold, most likely, for a little while. 
And I don't know. There's not too much out till like early December. So I don't know. We'll figure something out. But we'll be live at 1 p.m. Eastern playing something or watching something or doing something. So we'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Dan, last but not least, once again, congrats on your first one shot. Good job all around. I think we all can agree we had a fantastic time. And uh, definitely one of those like see other aspects of this world. I think it was intriguing uh, for all of us. So. Uh, we're not doing a Q and A mm -hmm. or anything after the show, but we'll probably bring it up uh, once you've kind of gotten over the DM high on uh, on Tuesday <laughs> during the pre-show. Yeah, sport, it'll make so. for it'll make for yeah. good pre-show chat for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Do some shout outs for though, sure. Stan. Uh, thanks for it, doing this with me, guys. It was uh, I over I definitely over prepared, but that was better than uh, under preparing. Uh, but mm -hmm. it was super fun to learn how to DM and like how I was how. DMs are juggling plates behind the scenes you don't see. Um, and I learned a lot, and I had a ton of fun doing this. And I would love to DM again sometime. It was a lot of fun. And thank you guys, uh, JP, Max, um, Adam, and Zeke for all uh, being my guinea pigs and game with me every week. And if I would have been comfortable with any probably anyone else since I know you guys so well. So thank you guys for being there for me. And again, I love this, and I can't wait to do some more of this uh, some other time. My favorite part was when I was like, hey, what if we got uh, what if we got like a famous Hollywood director on your first show? And you're like, fuck you. Bro. you were, no, <laughs> yeah, I, was like, uh -uh, I don't <laughs> play the pressure, fucking right? show. What do you do? Don't give me a fuck. <laughs> so for your first cast, uh, it's it's going to be Vin Diesel, uh, the ghost of Gary Gygax uh, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So have fun. Oh, man. With no that. pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad that I ended up playing it. It was definitely a fun time. So that's going to do it here for uh, the one shots. We've got another one shot coming up next month uh, where Asa Butterfield, his brother, myself, Adam and Dodger are going to be jumping into a Dungeon World show. I believe that's on Adam the 23rd of December. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think that I think that's where I think that's where we landed for that. Yep. OK, well, have full details uh, probably on Tuesday on uh on the show if you don't know who asa butterfield is he's in the uh show sex education on netflix and i uh, was also in ender's game and a bunch of other stuff you can go google uh so yeah that'll be the next one shot in december so we'll see you guys for that if we don't see you on tuesday for court of swords which has all five of us playing 5e as i think it's like episode 126 or 127 or something like that so if you never watched it before feel free to jump in there's a lot of back history, backstory stuff, though. You might be a little bit lost, but we got ways to catch up for that. So if you want to, we'll see you on Tuesday. Uh, for now, though, we're all out. So see you guys next time. Thanks again. Good job, Dan. Hey, everybody. See you next time. Bye.